hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game so today i'm going to show you how to show a visual distinction in the rage mode and not in the rage mode so here is the preview uh, when i'm in the normal mode when i attack my rage bar will be filled up and after uh, I can use this rage, I can toggle the rage mode with the key R. When I press R, as you can see, you will have this uh, color change. And for the attacks, I don't have any difference yet. So if the rage is depleted, it will change back to this normal color. I'll show you that again. Fill up some rage. Okay, and enable rage now it's in the rage mode and and again right so that's what i'm going to do today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so first i'll go to settings and implement a new input action for to toggle rage here mm, for now I'll use uh, keyboard key R for this purpose I think I, I haven't used R anywhere right now I'll open my character main character blueprint and uh, here this is the main character blueprint here under fight in the fight uh, event graph I'll yeah, here is the rage update so here inside this I'll add another no here yeah actually it would be better if I do it here here I'll implement that input toggle rage and and here in order to maintain this rage state I need another variable I'll add a variable and rage enabled I'll put this in the void category put it right after this one okay and here when I press the toggle rage button I'll do a branch and I have to check what is the current state of the rage and I should enable the not of that so like this and if this is true that means rage current value is false uh, then I should uh, enable it if the current value is true I should disable it so that's the way it should happen so if this is true first I should check uh, whether my rage value is larger than zero because if there is no rage then I should not be able to activate this and and if this is uh, larger than zero I should set rage enabled to true and if this is false then all I have to do is set rage enabled to false 
and uh, only for now I have to work on post process change in the post processing effects and attack powers and everything but for now this is all I'm going to do and here when I enable rage I'm going to do something like this I'm gonna add a do once node first because I don't need it to repeat without control and here add a delay of uh, let's say yeah point one second and do another branch so if still the rage is enabled so that's I'm doing that because if I have disabled the rage here then I should disable that function if this is false then I should reset this to once not otherwise I have to reduce the rage I can do it like this okay and set no if this is true get whatever the rage value and deduct some amount from it let's say 0.1 and set it here and rage I need to update the rage and how can I do that ah, right I have already implemented a function for that update rage Yeah, I don't have to do this part. I only have to input this value and that is minus one because this is a reduction and plug this one here. So for now nothing will happen only when I enable rage it will start to reduce the rage meter. Uh, to test this I'll add a print here rage enabled and here another print uh, rage disabled let's see if that works Yeah, now I have some amount of rage filled. So I'll press R. As you can see, rage enabled happened, printed on the top left, and rage in decreased into this into zero. And here I forgot to one thing. If the rage enabled falls, or Rage value is zero. Is zero. I have to reset. Um, no, this is not the way I should have done it then I should call this part uh, I have to disable rage if one of these conditions are met I have to disable rage and after this part I have to reset this so only where, when I enable rage only if I disable the rage it will reset this part so that's the way it should happen and if I disable it before uh, it disabled automatically by depleting the rage amount uh, this will happen also okay and let's see let's check again I'll do a couple of attacks and now I'll enable rage
okay it depleted but get the notification well this is wrong this should be reg enabled and reg larger than zero both these conditions must be true in order to proceed this way okay so now i want to add some camera effect to show that i am in range rage mode just like in all other games like some red color to the viewport or something like that so how can i do that so for that I have to use my player character because this is the component this is the character which has the camera but how can I access that camera from here well I can't do that so therefore I'll open my BPI character and under fight I'll add another function called toggle rage mode can I use the toggle rage yeah and with an input type of boolean okay and I here I'll first compile and implement that event event toggle rage this one and instead of this I'll change it to this one like this and yeah I don't need this part actually I need that but I want to connect it like this and disconnect from here so this toggle red thing happens right here with this function and this is from the event from BPI character and here I'll call this function uh, to the action event like this toggle rage call function and insert this one and also after this part uh, when this false is taking place I should call toggle rage with a false like this so that it will call this part and go up this path because uh, the reason to do that was if I handle it inside here when I override this function that effect will not be propagated to the overridden function you will understand that okay now here I can override that function uh, I should I use this on UI? Well, I, I'll use that here because uh, th here I'm not doing anything about the fight. It's just... No, I should do it in the fight. Let's define another graph called fight. And toggle rage. And add a call to parent function like this and here I need another branch in rage mode no rage enabled yeah if the rage is enabled let's get the camera set post pro says settings 
and uh, let's connect it like this I don't think I need a bro branch okay and here oh no I need a branch set post process if this is true let's make post process settings so what I am going to enable here so here I am going to change two parameters temperature and uh, what is the other one that we can get some black around vignet this one okay so I'm gonna do two of these yeah I don't need a branch I can do it like this select with this one if this is true select this one if false select this one if true select this one and get the output of this here so here this is uh, yeah this should be zero uh, for the false and 6500 this is the normal way and in the range is enabled when the range is enabled this setting should be applied so here I'll increase to something like 15,000 I don't really have a good idea about these values let's see and we get intensity to 9 This should be not 1500, 15,000. And let's see what happens. Okay, now, now I have red, I will enable it. Yeah, we have some color change as expected. And let's see okay right so when the rage is depleted it turned back to normal color right so that's, what I, that's exactly what I want let's try it again here now. let's enable it it became red this is right now and it went back so back to normal Alright, so that's all I wanted to do for today and I'll upload the source code to in my Patreon page and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my Patreon club and depending on the tier you join you will have different privileges and see you in the next video. Goodbye.